of a spread here, don't we? <laughs> and I'm sure we're going to hear from Boogaloo because apparently two breakfasts is not enough today. All right, so this is the G soap. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be the colours from the gay flag. I'm going to do it properly this time. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue and purple. Which is... There you go. Like this. Alright. So I'm going to be scenting it with energy because I know energy doesn't discolour. I know it works pretty well. Oh, I've got to clean stick blender. That's the one thing I've got to do. Um, See, I thought I'd run through what colours I'm going to use so I can get them out of the way. So for the purple, I'm using grape soda. For the blue, I'm using sapphire sea, which is a synthetic. Uh, for the green, I've used mostly shamrock shimmer. And then because it's a little, it's not quite the green that I wanted, I put in a, a bit of lime spider as well. Uh, Wellington for the yellow, because my favourite yellow. Uh, for the orange, I used mostly Tangelo. Uh, it's a it's a paler orange though, so it's more of a pastel. So I added a bit of orange pop to give it a bit of ha ha pop. <laughs> and then for the red, we have uh, rosewood, French rose, which is kind of pink, and uh, watermelon, which is kind of orange. So we have. <laughs> They're all setting because it's, you know. So we have this colour, which I don't know if it's going to be a proper red. So um, I also have my little bottle of red soap dye here, which I don't know if I've used that in soap before. I've used it in melt and pour soap before, I don't think I've used it in cold process. So I may swap that out. Actually, I will we'll go with this little beauty, which is the car mine from um, Aussie Soap Supplies. You cannot go wrong with this stuff. This makes red. I don't know anything else that sells in Australia that makes a red red. <laughs> Sounds stupid, doesn't it? Red red. Um, but it's true that like you can apparently you can get stuff from the States was a really red mica or something from I don't know one of those places but I just I don't feel like paying the postage for something that I can try and do here with the so supplies from here so but you know I don't make red soap very often yeah alrighty we're ready to go okie dokie let's give this a whiz now I uh, used oil from here to put in the bottoms of all of these. Now there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I used about I weighed this after I poured these, and I used about 70 grams. So they've got about oh, what? Two, four, six, eight, four, six, eight. So they've got about little what? 21 grams in each of them. 20, 40, 60, 8. No, that's about 10. About 11 grams. If you just like, sometimes people are a bit pedantic. <laughs> this person here. <laughs> so yeah, so I don't ever measure it, but that's about how much I use in the bottom of these. Is it, for a little pour, there's about 10 grams. So. Oh, look at that dessert. <laughs> we love the dessert. Now I'm going to put some blizzard glitter in this, just because I said I was every soap this month was getting glitter in it. Listen, if I can't use glitter in the Gay Pride Month, when can I friggin' use it? <laughs> so, the plan. <laughs> the plan is to do a drop swirl with all of these. But what I want to do is I only want to have it drop just like this far down into the soap. I don't want it to drop all the way to the bottom. So I've done it before a long, long time ago and it looked beautiful uh, and I've never been able to recreate it. So we were fingers crossed today. Oh, here comes our dessert. Oh, and I have no vanilla pudding left. Damn it. Alrighty. There's a couple of chunks in there. 
That's just because I accidentally uh, got sort. Well, I didn't accidentally. I got set up yesterday to make this and then didn't make it, so the lye has been sitting in its little container um, since yesterday with a bit of paper over it, but it will still go back to that crystallised form because it is a salt, so. Alright. Get this loosened up a bit. Because we want to do as little zhuzhing as possible. And yes, the judging doesn't really make much sense. I am well aware of this. But it kind of does though, because like judging means to make something look better. And I mean, we're going to make this boring old plain soap batter look like a really cool soap. So I suppose I'm kind of judging it. <laughs> but like the stick blending part, probably not so much. All right, that's enough for that. Let me scrape those sides down again. We are going to have to um, stick blend all of these because the oils have set up, uh, not set up, the, the oil in the bottoms of them has gone hard again because it's cold today. It's not like super cold, but it's cold. It's cold enough that the oils in the bottom of these have set up. <laughs> now I'm not putting very much in each of these because, oh no, there's a hair, little tiny fur or something on that spoon there was. Um, yeah, it's just going to be a little drop swirl into the top, so I'm not overly keen on making up too much because then there won't be enough base, so. And I wasn't going to put the, um, the fragrance in until we get all the colours mixed up, so. And this will be the most important one, this red one, so I'll have to see whether or not some... Um, it will require uh, any of that liquid or not. It just takes a minute for it to loosen up a bit. But once it starts getting that little heat thing happening, it loosens it all up and it's, look, you can still see there's still a big chunk on my spoon. So, and I can still feel there's some down in the bottom of the container. I don't think that's going to be enough soap batter, to be honest. God, that's a beautiful colour though. Wow. I'm pretty pleased with that. That's better. I can feel that's all loosened up. Oh, no, hang on. The thing is, if I mix them too much, then they'll go too thick. So, there's a really fine line. between what you can, how much you can mix them in. So I'm going to just put a little bit more in each of these. I can see that glitter. You guys probably can't, but I can definitely see it. So, And I'm just going to be messy because, you know, soap batter will set up, so we can't bugger around too much. That purple is glorious. That's a grape soda. I love that colour. It's not my favourite. I think I think it's uh, Eminence is my favourite, but it's still a beautiful colour. Although I think I say that about all of them, don't I? Really? <laughs> it's just like, oh, this is a beautiful colour. Oh, yeah, no, this is a beautiful colour. Yeah, whatever. This blue is a beautiful colour. <laughs> seriously, it is. <laughs> chunk down in there. Oh, so my pencils came today. I'm a bit happy about that. Well, they didn't come today. They came three days ago. I just haven't been bothered to get into the post office to get them. I can't believe that's a sign for pencils. Well, I suppose they're not exactly cheap pencils. but So, yes. Yeah, so, hopefully, now that I've got decent set of pencils that will help improve my work so because some of the I mean I've got decent watercolor pencils uh, for those of you who don't know I've started um, repainting Monster High dolls 
and you use watercolour pencils on their faces. And this green is setting up. It's always this, yeah, green's a funny thing. Greens and blues tend to set up quicker than anything else. It's weird. Uh, yeah, so I have started repainting Monster High dolls. I have done three so far, um, and while I'm reasonably happy with them, I knew that I needed better tools to improve what I was doing. Unfortunately, when it comes to something like this, the better tools are very, very expensive. I just got a set of 24 uh, Faber-Castell, uh, uh, what are they, Elbre Elbrec, Elbrec Dura. I think they're just commonly called Albert Dura pencils. Uh, watercolour pencils and they are expensive. 24 cost me $64. But they're highly pigmented which means I will be able to do less coats uh, so I will be able to do finer work. That's it. So fingers crossed it will help otherwise I have wasted 64 friggin dollars on some pencils which is <laughs> scary. Because that's a lot of money. I mean, that's my food bill for a week almost. So, <sighs> this is why I hate winter. Well, this is why I hate my hands. Winter always makes everything hurt. Makes the arthritis worse, that's for sure. And these pencils. <laughs> pencils. <laughs> oh my god, I'm obsessed with pencils now, aren't I? These spoons. <sighs> Look at this. This is just stupidly thick. Ah well, we'll do what we can do. Stupid friggin red. Always with the red. Always with the red. You go over there because you just need to kind of be in order. I'd like to pour them in the correct order in the um, when I drop swap them. It's not bad, it's not very nice though. I mean, it's it's a nice colour, but like it's not it's not the red I'm looking for. No, nope, this is not the red we're looking for. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh dear! Bloody Star Wars has a lot <laughs> to answer for. I swear. Star Wars, yeah, Star Wars. That's the right one. That's the one with the silly drones. No, yeah, no. I don't know. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, so we're just going to squirt a whole bunch in there and we're going to leave that for now because what I'm going to do mm, Yep, alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some in there I'm just going to go do it, do it probably stop making stupid noises because that's just silly and then the rest can go in there, and then I'm going to stick blend them all. Can go over there. Sitting and eating through my bench. Give you a scrape down. Yes, I've been looking forward to making this one, I must admit. to dark. Shit. Ah. I'm an idiot. I'm starting, oops, <laughs> I really am an idiot. I've just whacked the camera. Oh, look. No, no, stop now. Stop and think. Oh, 
my hair hey, to fix to do what I want to do. So, <sighs> shit. No, don't do that. There's no point doing that. Yeah, these are just going to plop. They're too. I should have done black raspberry and vanilla, but I already have like two soaps. So. Alright. Whatever. Just disappointing when you can't do what you want to do. Or whatever. 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 That's me being disappointed. Okay, so. Yep, this is just going to look like shit. <sighs> I'm a disgrace to the LBGT community. <laughs> just cranky now. <laughs> you guys are all going, oh, here we go. She's, she's cranky now. That's it. <sighs> it's just annoying. Oh, that one was dirty. No, oh, well, whatever. Oh, that's too much. Oh, really? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, see, this is what happens. Don't soap cranking people. <laughs> For God's sake. Oh. <laughs> Stupid freaking soap. Yep, I don't know why energy has done what it's done, but energy has had a fit and set up like crazy. I don't remember energy doing this before, but whatever. It's a good chunk of soap there. It's a good thing I clean the bloody bench first, isn't it? I don't, I'm not entirely sure why I do that, but probably because I have to do that. Oh, look, it's not even coming off the <laughs> off the friggin' ah, oh. whatever. The thing is, it doesn't even look like there's enough friggin' soap better to fill the thing. You shut up, Boogly. No one asked for your opinion, mate. Keep it to yourself. You know what has just occurred to me is I'm using uh, Brambleberries Energy, not Aromas. And I don't think I've ever soaked with this before. I've only ever soaked with the Aroma one. So there you go. So that's the difference, people. Maybe the Brambleberry stuff's just not as good. <gasps> oh my god. Shock horror. I've picked on the big company. Whatever, I don't care. This looks like shit. I hate it. Absolutely, positively hate it. This is not how today was supposed to go. <sighs> and it'll be raining tomorrow, and guarantee it'll be raining tomorrow. I have a um, market on tomorrow, so actually it's raining now, 
So, so I think there was a 90% chance of rain tomorrow. Yay. Oh, God. Everything's so slimy. I'm not happy. Not happy, Jan. And he's annoying me because he keeps meowing. And there's nothing wrong with him because he's had two breakfasts. But he won't shut up and go to sleep until I give him more food. Boggly! Shut up! <sighs> Look at this. It just looks like shit. Seriously. It's just a freaking mess. It doesn't have holes in it. And bang this down on the kitchen bench because if I bang it down on this one it'll stop the camera okay so I think I've got most of the space out of it <laughs> so there shouldn't be any holes now um, I have no idea what to do with this because it just looks like shit and there's really not enough in these to just like even out the colour so I'm thinking I might just put oh my god let's see if I can loosen that up a little bit I'm just going to put what's left of the white on the top and just cover it all up maybe cover it up I don't know if I can actually cover it up yeah I can cover it up I think maybe it's going to look like shit but seriously, I mean, not much I can do at this point. Alright. It'll be like a hidden surprise rainbow. <laughs> Righto. That's it. I meant to do it. I did this on purpose. It's a hidden rainbow. I'm like God. This is, this is gonna, you, when you cut the soap, it'll be like after the flood. <laughs> She'll get a rainbow. Oh, jeez. Just shoot me now. This is how I deal with disappointment, people. With stupidity. Because if I don't laugh, I'm going to cry. I'm so disappointed in this soap. I really am. Hopefully when I cut it, it'll be like, oh, it's not that bad. I doubt it, but you never know. Okay, so that's pretty good. I don't know what we're going to do on the top, though. We have to do something. We can't leave it like this. This is supposed to be the, the gay flag soap. Seriously. I do have multicolored balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh yep, I'm a child. Giant child. Alright, I have lots of balls. Let's just put balls all over it. Files chuck an embed on it. <laughs> Whatever. Embeds and glitter. They'll fix everything. Eh, it's better than nothing. It's not too bad. Alright, that's it. That's that's my gay flag, so <sighs> woohoo! Fighting! And all that jazz. Alright, I will do the close-up, blah blah blah, and I'll see you for the cutting. Bye!
video. I'm going to be like an ultra quick one because I'm supposed to be at the markets in like two seconds. So oh, my camera is actually not straight. There we go. I think that's better. Yep, that's better. All right, let's give this sucker cut it, cut it, cut it. What the hell's wrong with me? Now this camera is just so not straight. Let's see that straight. Anyway, whatever. I don't have time to fart ass around. The good thing though is that the market is like literally a block away. I can see it out the front window. <laughs> so it's not like, you know, it's going to take me a long time to drive down there. Ah, oh, land, like I said, it's not that bad. I was hoping when I cut it. Although this is just like. I don't think the um, colours were mixed enough by the looks of that because it looks like there's chunks of mica in them so but no it doesn't look too bad it doesn't look as bad as I was freaking out about yesterday so yesterday god that's Australian isn't it so and then you know I mean it kind of did what I wanted all the colour sort of stayed up the top I don't know, can you see the sparkle? You, I can see the um, the glitter in it. But yeah, so... But I definitely think that the... Because um, look at this. I definitely think the mica just wasn't mixed through enough. I mean, it doesn't hurt it. I mean, you can still, it's still soap, you can still use it. Um, but yeah. Well, I won't use that energy again because I've never seen energy do that before. This is really cool. It's got the red line on it. Ah, the birds are going crazy. It's that time of the morning. I think it's uh, just on, just gone six, I think. Oh, Christ, it's quarter past six. I really need to move my ass. I'm supposed to be down there at six. And I don't need someone taking my spot because if they do, oh, I'm going to get very cranky. It's also still friggin' dark outside. It's a pain in the ass setting up a market in the dark. I just refuse to wear one of those weird lights on my head. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen, people. Alright. Well, this could today is Saturday, so I will edit this and upload it tomorrow. And then you guys will see it on Monday. And then maybe I can get a little organised. <sighs> that would be nice. A bit of organisation would be good. We'll have another market up this for two freaking weeks. So, so yeah. All right. There you go. There's our rainbow soap, which wasn't quite as bad as I was expecting. All right. See you for the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.